and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video now today I am in Port Marion which is this Italian style village in North Wales which I will be showing you in a bit also sorry if I keep playing with my hair and um, I recently got a cut and I'm still getting used to the bands um, but yeah if you getting nervous because people are watching me vlogging still haven't got used to um, vlogging in public um, but yeah I've been wanting to come here for a really long time um, and I'm so happy I finally came and I just wanted to let you know like my first impressions of um, Port Marion because it is quite an expensive activity so it did cost me £17 for my ticket which I did pay for online in advance and um, that was an adult ticket they did have a student ticket available but unfortunately my student ID card expired last week um, which is really annoying because I wish I came sooner because it was literally £13.50 for students so I would have saved a lot and um, yeah, no I have just finished university I still feel like a student I haven't got my grade yet and I have not got a grad job so I could have done with that um, the, the, that saving there but um, oh well I should have come earlier, it was my fault. I probably would have come earlier had I not got COVID a couple of weeks ago. I probably would have come the week that my student ID was gonna expire, but oh well. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on and show you around Port Miriam. Port Miriam was created by the architect Sir Clow Williams Ellis, who acquired the land in 1925 and spent 50 years working on it to turn it into this, this beautiful masterpiece inspired by an Italian village. I can say whilst I was there, I definitely did not feel like I was in North Wales. I felt like I'd been transported somewhere else. So first thing first, if you thought of Port Marion was that she just the little pretty village that you see all over Instagram and Pinterest, you are wrong. It is that village, that village is here, I've shown you clips of it already. But there's also like trowels you can do, so I'm currently in like some trowel, oh, in some trowel, on some trowel called like the tree trowel. Um, I came up and there was signs for a few different ways. I decided to follow the way to the Chinese lake because I thought that sounded nice. It also said something about a castle but the castle stop wasn't actually a castle. <laughs> um, yeah I thought that sounded a bit nicer than uh, going in the other direction and coming to Dog Cemetery. Um, so now I'm just following another sign which says it's going to some bridge but I think it's actually leading me up to the beach. Um, so maybe I'll come back around and do more of the tree towel later because I think you can get back on for it from, onto it from the other end of the beach from what I was looking at on um, the map but to be honest I don't know just when I see a sign I'm kind of just following it and going with the flow also sorry for the change of lighting but I have it set for like I have my camera settings set for the shade but obviously when I come out of the trees there's more light and then there's just too much light <laughs> So I eventually did make it down to the beach as you can see and it was so beautiful it was such a nice walk there and there was this nice lighthouse it was nice seeing the views of Port Miriam in the distance with the beach it was very windy there though but it was definitely worth it. So I just thought I would update you but I am back on the tree trowel now I believe but on a kind of lower down part of it which keeps um, revealing these lovely feel, lovely, lovely views, apparently I can't speak English, <laughs> of the beach and then yeah you can walk down to the beach at different points or now I need different lighting. <laughs> uh, you can see me again! Yay! This is the only issue with filming in my on the go. Change in lighting. Um, but yes, um, I 
did go down for a little walk on the beach. It's very nice. I'm really enjoying my time here. I do feel like you can get lost a little bit on the train travel, but every time I think I'm lost, I think that as I am actually going in the right direction. So it's fine, but it might just be a bit nicer doing the tree trail with somebody else rather than alone. Because there's not that many signs. Like I'll see a sign pointing in one direction and I won't see a sign for a while, so then I won't know where I'm going. And I feel like if you're with someone else, you might feel a bit better. Like, I don't know. I feel like I hike by myself sometimes, but then I always follow a map, so I don't feel, I feel kind of safer. But then even then, hiking by myself sometimes I don't feel safer. <laughs> So I eventually ended up back on the woodland trail but doing the part of it which I hadn't seen previously and the dog cemetery was literally what it sounds like, a place for people's dead dogs so it was really sad but um, these trees look cool. Hello everyone, so I'm back from Port Marion now so it's time to answer the big question of whether it was worth the £17. I feel like I basically just complained about it because of the fact that, you know, I don't have much money at the moment. Um, but I completely understand why it's £17 because it is an experience that you can't get elsewhere. Like the village itself, like just the detail, all the art, like there's nowhere else like that in the UK. And there's so much more to it than just the village. Obviously there were the walks you could do, the woodland trail, the walk along the beach. It definitely is worth it. It's not something that I would say spend money on all the time. Like it, you know, it is seventeen pound, but it is an attraction after all. And I do feel like the student discount was really good. It's just a shame that I couldn't get the student discount because I've because I've gone to other places where the student discount has only knocked off like one pound from the price, one or two pounds. Um, but that was quite a big discount and like £13.50 makes a big difference. I really should have gone sooner. Um, I was tempted not to book my ticket online in advance and just turn up and show my ID and hope they didn't look at the date because it's like very low at the bottom. Um, but it did say online like we kindly ask that you book your tickets in advance and because <laughs> it's like a long journey there and the buses only come every two hours from Bangor. I didn't want to risk it and then, you know, not be allowed in or, you know, buy the student ticket on advance and then not accept it. So I didn't, I didn't risk it. I just coughed up the £17. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it because it's not something that you're going to do all the time, is it? And it's really nice there and people get married there and there's a hotel there and you could stay there like overnight, like, like Honestly, I, I definitely know I can't afford to stay there overnight and I don't know if I ever will be able to, probably not, but isn't that nice though? Anyway, I'm going to go now because she clicked on this video to watch a video about Port Marion, didn't you? Not to listen to me chat in my room. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and click that big red subscribe button down below. I do make more travel um, videos. So... Yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! I just need to tell you